All right, what are you going to need in order to hard boil an egg? You're obviously going to need eggs, a large pan, depending on how many eggs you want to hard boil, and some water. And I'll show you how to do this real quick. It's pretty easy to do, and it doesn't take a whole lot of time. And the eggs are a great source of protein, so if you're trying to have a healthy diet, a healthy snack, they're a good thing to eat. So what you're going to do, depending on how many eggs you want to hard boil, you're going to want to lay them all evenly on the bottom of the pan. And don't stack them up on top of each other, kind of lay them all flat. Then fill the pan up with water and you want to get a, you're going to want to go about two inches over the top of all the eggs with water. And fill this up real quick. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's about two inches. And then transfer it over to the stove. You want to put them on the stove top, then go over and turn it on high. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to let the eggs boil. Uh, bring the water up to a boil and we'll show you what to do next. Alright, so once you bring the pot to a boil, uh, you want to really get the water rolled around and the steam going and you know the water really hot. So once it's doing this, you can shut the burner off and transfer the pot to a cool burner and then you're going to want to cover it. Alright, so now I've transferred my pot to a cooler burner and I've covered it. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to set my kitchen timer for 12 minutes. And you're going to want to let the... Um, cancel that. So set your timer for 12 minutes and let the egg sit for 12 minutes. Once the timer goes off, I'll show you what to do next. Alright, so when the 12 minutes is up, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drain all the hot water out of your pan into your sink. And then you can either transfer the eggs into another bowl, but I'm just going to fill the pan up with ice cold water. And I'm going to let them sit for a few minutes till they're all cooled down. And this will help to harden them up and so that the eggs stop cooking inside. And it's like there's enough water to cover them up completely. And once that's done, I'll just let them sit for like 5 to 10 minutes and feel them, make sure they're not hot anymore. And then you should be able to um, drain the water out and transfer them back into your egg carton if you kept it. Usually that's what I do so I can put them back in the refrigerator.